Hey everyone, Tech OG here representing those who are 40 and up with Leather Tech. And for those of you who've seen uh, previous videos of mine, uh, you're probably wondering why I'm doing a video of a GPD Win 2. Well, if you did see the videos, um, even if you haven't, I'm just going to tell you what's on the videos anyway. Um, I bought a GPD Win 2 a couple months ago when they first was released, um, got it from someone who actually uh, crowdfunded for it and got one of the uh, first released ones and he immediately sold it on eBay. So I actually got it for $800 off eBay from that person and since having it, I've done videos uh, on the GPD when videos on adapters, uh, chargers, things like that for it and picked up a a few viewers uh, of this device so um at one point after having it for like a month or so i decided to sell it because i already had a pc that that i used on a daily basis which was my surface book first generation 16 gigabytes ram um 512 gigabytes of space on there it was a really good computer 12 inch screen, um, detachable screen to use as a tablet. It was a really nice computer and in my opinion, the best computer that I've ever seen as far as uh, portability, weight, power, things like that. Microsoft really, really made a fantastic laptop. I mean better than MacBooks in my personal opinion. Better than anything on the market. But they are very expensive. I was lucky enough to get the uh, Surface Book that I had. I bought it last year in April. Um, I actually had looked on looked on eBay at my previous purchases. I bought it last year in April for one thousand ninety dollars. Um, I'm happy and sad to say that uh, I just sold my Surface Book because I was, like I said, using that as my daily driver, and that's why when I purchased this. Um, the first time I sold it because I was saying to myself, um, the Surface Book is much more powerful, has a much more powerful processor, it had an iCore or i7, no, iCore 7, excuse me, processor in it, and basically did everything that I needed it for it to do, especially to play my emulator games, PC games, things like that. So um, that's why I got rid of my GPD Win 2, but then thought about things and was saying to myself I really like the portability of the GPD-1-2 and was on eBay and saw someone I would say mm, about a week ago selling their GPD-1-2 and the person that was selling it had already installed a 480 gigabyte SSD card in the GPD-1-2. So I was saying to myself, well, I already installed. I don't have to do any configurations. Don't have to um, reinstall Windows on the SSD. Because if you look at my previous videos, you, you'll find out that you have to do that. So I said, if it's already installed, let me just bid on it. So I actually ended up getting this one, believe it or not, for $865. Now, is it worth the price? Depends on what you use it for. So for me per, uh, in particular, yes. It is definitely worth the price because, like I said, I sold my Surface Book um, and just mailed it off and was um, blessed enough to have sold it. Even though I, I, I had it for a year, a year and some change, I was able to sell it for $1,055. So I basically rented it, rented the Surface Book for uh, $35. For $35, so that's not bad. Oh, $45, excuse me. So I rented it out for $45, you know, for the year, and just sold it to somebody else. And, you know, it had all the accessories to it, you know, the pen tips, blah, blah, blah. So the new owner, he's going to love the computer, as I did when I bought it. And now that I have the GPD Win 2 with the 480 gigabyte uh, SSD in there, this is now my daily driver. Now, I know you may say right now, um... Why would you do that? Why would you sell a, a, a fantastic laptop and instead get 
a GPD-1-2, which I'll call a laptop, that um, has a much smaller and slower processor in it. So like I said, it's all because of what you want to do with the computer that you have. So in particular, um, I got it mainly for portability. I mean, I do enjoy carrying backpacks, but sometimes my backpacks can get pretty, pretty hefty as far as what I put in it, you know, for my computer and everything else. So I wanted to get a computer that was small, portable, where I can, you know, have touch screen and use a touch pen or, yeah, or a capacitive pen such as a jot dash. You can use this with the GPD-1-2, you know, and use this uh, in reference to the uh, pen that the Surface Book had. is not as good of a pen, but it still does the job nonetheless. So, that's why I bought it, for portability, for size, and now um, that I have a smaller computer, I guess I'll buy a smaller bag. And I'm gonna do a video on my bag because I just purchased one on Amazon and it's gonna be delivered today, so I'll do a video on that new bag and basically call it what's in my tech bag. So, um, got it for portability. Got it because there's no other computer that has video game controls on it. Of course, you usually will have to buy a separate controller for a laptop if you want to play games on it. But since this has built-in uh, controls, you can just pick it up and start playing it. That's what's really, really awesome about this computer. Um, I didn't buy it because of keyboards uh, to type on. Um, the keyboard, no matter how they improve the uh, keys on it, it's still not practical uh, to use for typing. So like I said, when I do my what's in my tech bag video, I'll show you the keyboard that I purchased for this. And it's a full size one that I would use for the GPD-1-2. And just like the keyboard, also have a mouse for it. As you can see, I'm moving the arrow with my mouse, and I'll show you the mouse later. So, um, like I said, I just mainly bought this for portability. Now, I haven't tested the applications that I generally use, uh, that I had used on my Surface Book. Um, haven't tested it on the GPD Win 2 yet. I just installed them last night. And the ones that I mainly use are... Um, uh, SoundForge 10, I use that for audio, editing, splicing, things like that. Uh, Vegas Pro 15, um, I use that to make my videos and submit my videos to YouTube. And what else do I use in here? Um, Handbrake, I use that to compress my videos if they're too large uh, to put on um, websites or whatnot. And um, I've also installed Microsoft Office. So those are the four main apps or programs that I use on my Surface Book. And like I said, I have not tested any of them yet. So I will do a video to show you how they work on here. So um, now that this is my daily driver, I use this for personal use and I also use this for work. And so, a lot of people may say, you know, how can you really look at things on this small screen? Yeah, this small. It's bigger than the original GPD Win 1. That one had a 5.5 inch screen. This one is a 6 inch screen. And it does look 200% better than the uh, GPD 1 screen. But, still, looking at a small screen can give you eye strain. So, you want to use this with a big screen. So you can um, use this on a uh, HDMI or HDTV, HDMI TV, excuse me. Um, it has an, this has an HDMI mini port on the back where you can buy an adapter to use this on an HDMI television. So it will play that way. So, and, and there's more than one way to connect this to a, a larger screen. That was just one way I just told you about. The second way, excuse me, I just looked at the wrong thing. I'm supposed to lift up a camera. The 
second way to connect it is through a Microsoft wireless display adapter, which I have connected to my smart board. And if you look at my pre previous videos, you can see how I did it. So I like to use a lot of my personal stuff at work because, I mean, the things at work, they're okay, but I want to be able to do things that I want on my device, and you can't necessarily do that on school-issued devices. Still cool, but again, you're limited to how you can use it. So using it with the, micro, uh, the GPD-1.2 with a Microsoft Display Adapter, it works flawlessly. Um, the response rate is a little off, but you know when you're looking at your GPD-1.2 screen and then looking at the screen that is being projected on, the response time is a little off. But for the most part, you'll be just you'll just look at the larger screen rather than the GPD-1.2 screen because of the lag. So you'll just be looking at that, and the lag, like I said, is very minuscule. So using it with the Microsoft Display Adapter works great. So my students will be able to see what's on the screen. I'll be able to see what's on the screen on the smart board and we'll be able to uh, go through it, go through the menus and use it as if uh, the smart board screen is the actual computer screen. So it works quite well and I implore you if you do have a GPD Win 2, to get one of those so that you can see the screen on a bigger, or the GPD one screen on the bigger screen. I am sorry for, about that. I have five more minutes before my next class comes in. So let me hurry up and wrap this up. So, am I happy with getting the GPD Win 2 again and using this as my daily driver now that I do not have my Surface Book anymore? Of course I'm happy. This is going to do everything that I wanted to do. Again, I have to test out the uh, program and let you know how they work. But I'm pretty confident that the M3 processor, which is made by Intel, is going to handle the application slash programs that I have on the GPD-1.2 install. So there you have it. This is now my daily driver. I'm quite happy with it so far. And I know you may be asking how... Am I getting this to sit up high on the table? And that will help with the air intake. So I bought one of those love handles that's usually used for a smartphone, and I put it on the back of here. I'll tell you why I got two of them later. And so with this propped up, the air intake flows quite well to keep this cool. So there's my GPD-1-2. I hope that you're happy that I have it again. I'm definitely happy that I have it again because I will be making a lot more videos to show you the functions of this using games, applications, and whatnot. Um, so if you have uh, any comments that you want to say, definitely leave them in the comment section. If you like the video, definitely leave a thumbs up down below and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. So um, like I said, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about my channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.